everyone. Today we're going to take a little trip to Embankment Station. Embankment has a long and complicated history, and I'm actually planning a video on the subject of how long and complicated that history is. It's always seemed, to me at least, like a slightly pointless station, being only a couple of minutes' walk from Charing Cross. Why not just combine the two? It is a mystery. Still, it's pleasant enough, architecturally speaking. John Betjeman described it as the most charming of the Edwardian and Neo-Georgian Renaissance stations, which is high praise indeed. But I'd like to look at one specific aspect of the station in particular. To experience this for yourself, you need to go down to the northbound Northern Line platform. Now, listen to this. Mind the gap. Notice anything unusual about that Mind the Gap announcement? That's the delightfully plummy voice of Oswald Lawrence, and the recording is half a century old. But first, let's have a little bit of context. Anybody who's ever used the tube is familiar with the phrase Mind the Gap. It's a short, memorable phrase used at stations with curved platforms to warn you to, well, mind the gap. And much as I hate the word iconic, in this case it is actually appropriate. The phrase was introduced in 1969 and was chosen because it didn't take up too much tape and was concise enough to be read easily when painted at the platform edge. I have this mental image of this group of underground management brainstorming it. Like, beware the crevasse, evade the chasm, if it's not too much trouble perhaps you might take the void there into consideration. There have been several voices of the gap over the last five decades. The first was actually sound engineer Peter Lodge. Originally an actor had been hired to record this and various other phrases, but then his agent kicked up a stink about royalties. London Transport advised them to go forth and multiply, and Lodge's recording, initially intended just to check the sound levels, was used instead. Since then, several actors have been employed, including the aforementioned Oswald Lawrence. Lawrence, a rather trained theatre actor, was the voice of the Northern Line for many years. His IMDb page is rather sparse, but nevertheless his must be one of the most heard voices in London. Mr Lawrence sadly passed away in 2007 at the age of 78, but his advice, re-gaps and the minding of them, remained in use for several years afterwards. In fact, his widow, Dr Margaret McCollum, would often ride the tube in order to hear him. But nothing lasts forever. TFL had begun a programme to replace the taped recordings with new digital announcements. One by one, Oswald's announcements were phased out until only the northbound platform at Embankment retained it. And in November 2012, even that one was replaced. Dr McCollum, who described herself as devastated by the final disappearance of the old announcement, approached TFL to ask if it would be possible to obtain a recording. Unfortunately, TFL had to disappoint her. They had no means of transferring the old recording onto a digital format, which would be a very sad story, except it doesn't end there. The staff decided that, dash it all, if they didn't have a way, they'd find one. So they did, and were able to present Margaret with a CD of his announcements. Not only that, but now they had a digital recording, they thought it would be nice to return Mr Lawrence to the Northern Line platform, so everyone could appreciate his work. And that is why, on this one platform, you can still hear the voice of Oswald Lawrence, like a benevolent ghost. Don't forget to pay your respects by minding the gap and standing clear of the doors. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Hello all. 
Thanks for watching today's heartwarming episode of Tales from the Tube. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, why not hit like and even subscribe? All the best, chums. Cheerio.